Welcome to the Rundown. Navy Personnel Command has recently opened the My Navy Career Center Contact Center, a 24-7 sailor-focused customer service call center. This represents an evolution in Navy pay and personnel services delivery by providing sailors a tiered system available 24 hours a day, seven days a week to handle their questions and transaction requests. This MNCC Contact Center launch is just the beginning. It is one step in an evolving development effort where the Navy will field modern customer relationship management technology to enhance the ever-expanding list of services they will offer to sailors and their families. For questions regarding pay and personnel issues, reach out to the MNCC Contact Center at 833-330-MNCC. That's 833-330-6622. Or email them at askmncc at navy.mil. In an effort to maximize warfighting effectiveness and lethality across the force, the Navy announced the implementation of its Deployability Assessment and Assignment Program in a recent NAV admin. The program will ensure the timely disposition, processing, and accountability of all active component, full-time support, and selected reserve sailors who are either medically, legally, or administratively limited from deployment. Starting October 1st, 2018, Sailors who have been non-deployable for 12 consecutive months will be notified of mandatory processing for administrative separation or referral to the Disability Evaluation System. The policy applies to all sailors, regardless of current duty type, with the exception of pregnant and postpartum sailors. Sailors who receive notification will have the opportunity to be considered for the retention by the Secretary of the Navy on a case-by-case -case basis. For more information, see our story on Navy.mil, read NAVADMIN 239-18, or the Department of Defense Instruction 1332.45. The Navy announced the launch of the Professional Flight Instructor Program, designed to improve aviator retention by offering a new career path. The program will provide officers serving in or who have successfully completed an aviation department head tour with increased career flexibility and greater assignment stability. The program will provide officers serving in or who have successfully completed an aviation department head tour with increased career flexibility and greater assignment stability. The program will offer selected aviators a rewarding professional experience through training the newest naval aviators. Applications for the first PFI selection board scheduled to convene November 20th are now being accepted from qualified 1310 and 1320 designated Lieutenant Commanders and Commanders. For more information, see the story on Navy.mil or read NAVADMIN 241-18. That's all for this week. Connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, at USM People. You can listen to our collection of Sailor to Sailor podcasts at Navy.mil slash CMP. For any questions or to sign up for our monthly newsletter, send us an email at usmpeople.fct at Navy.mil. For the Chief of Naval Personnel, I'm MC2 Tyler Preston. Thanks for watching.